Hey guys, I'm Jake, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Warrior One from your foundation, how to place your feet, all the way up to how you align your hips, and that'll help clear your low back as you come up for Warrior One. Come on to your mat. We'll start in down dog, and inhale, and step your left foot forward like a lunge. Okay, and you're actually going to take just a slight shorter stance, so just step your foot forward another three inches to spin your back heel, your right heel to the floor. Okay, your right toes will aim towards the upper right corner of your mat. As you come up, hands on your, your front thigh, your left thigh. Pause here, this part's important. Lean forward first to give you access to your back leg. So you get that whole instep of your right foot to set back towards the back plane of your body. Your inner shin sets back right inner th knee flows back, right inner thigh flows back to broaden your waistline right, your hips more right to square your hips to the front and then come up for warrior one. Okay, and your front leg, your front knee, left knee bends right over your ankle aligned with your foot straight on. And you wrap this left outer thigh under, left outer hip under. Spin your chest left enough to square your chest and hips to the front for warrior one. Okay, hands to the floor, step back. Okay, what's common is it's often taught with like one breath in flow classes where inhale, left foot forward, warrior one. And what happens is we come up and often the hips will start to turn towards the side as we try to square our chest and hips to the front. It's so quick and it's so challenging to get this back inner thigh to flow back that will often misalign the hips and therefore the back. Okay, so take this extra step to get it right, get those hips square before you come up. And this will save your back in Warrior One. All right, and it'll help open it up a lot more effectively. Hope this helps. I'm Jake. Namaste.